What's up guys? Zach Hampel here at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Walk with me, why don't you? And guess what? This is in fact a brand new video. Do not let the upload date fool you. I've decided to save this one as a winter release. So let's go this way around the Mike Schmidt statue. The Marlins are here. I was here two days ago on June 13th, 2022. Yesterday, June 14th, I was at Nationals Park, and today's date is June 15th. So it's an afternoon game, a 1.05 p.m. start. The Phillies did play here last night, so you know the drill. Day games following night games, usually no batting practice. So it might be tough to catch baseballs early on. I am friendly with Richard Blyer, a reliever on the Marlins, so hoping to catch up with him a little bit. Maybe he'll hook it up, toss me a ball or two. Other than that, no real agenda except sitting in the outfield, got tickets in left field, and trying to catch a home run. So, away we go! Check this out. This book, which has been very loved and appreciated clearly, belongs to this young man named Sam, who just happened to bring it. He didn't know that I was going to be here. So we're going to sign this for him. And let's just talk about music here for a second. I'm talking over this clip because Ariana Grande and Kid Cudi can be heard in the background and the YouTube bots are not happy with that. So Ariana, whose net worth is about $240 million, she wants all the money for this entire video because her music is playing here. So I'm going to talk over this for about 10 more seconds. Therefore, my video can be monetized and I'll get the money rather than her because quite frankly I can use it more so sorry for this interruption hello Richard Blyer thanks for chatting with me and uh, I'm done so are you able to? Like, do you want to play catch a little bit from the stands, or not so much? Let me run. What's that? Let me run, and I will. Yeah, I'll be right back. Thanks for not killing me with this. I think I don't, I don't know hard enough to kill you. <laughs> so, hey, what's up? So, Richard Blyer, he's the man. Um, when, I, when I walked through the seats, and I saw the Marlins there, I saw the bullpen catcher with a ball in his hand, so I flapped my glove at him. I didn't even see Richard Blyer there with a ball, so he was looking up at me, thought that I was waving at him, and he chucked it. I did not see it coming, and it hit me. I mean, it was like, it was like five inches from my nutsack, guys. I, that was a very close call, and I just told him, I don't know if you could hear it, I was like, thanks for not killing me. He's like, I don't throw hard enough to kill you. He tops out at like 90 on a very good day. Most of his, he throws a lot of cutters, they're like in the high 80s, 87, 88. So then I, I chucked it back to him, like, come on, let's do it up for real. And then he threw me one and I caught it, but, oh, that's embarrassing, guys. And, you know, I've been complaining about my home run luck this year. I've been to a lot of games, only caught one, but really that's, that right there is one of the luckiest things that happened all season, not getting hit right, yeah, anyway.
I knew I was going to play catch, I would have brought my new glove, which actually needs to get broken in. Oh, wow, that actually... All right. That's great. This guy is the best. How many times do I have to say it? Um, yeah. All right. I'm around. Yep, see ya. You want this ball? See, thank you so much. Here you go. Here you do. That's what it's all about. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Liam. Let's go. Yep. I love this. This time. This time. There you go. Boom. I used to get autographs all the time when stadiums opened earlier and there wasn't as much protective netting. Today, I was very pleased to see Jorge Soler signing autographs down the left field foul line for a few fans through a little space in the net. So I got him on my ticket for today. That was really cool. And then just hanging out by the dugout, so many fans came up to me to say hello. I don't know what it is about Philly, but people here just seem to be extra friendly and I know that this town has a reputation for being pretty harsh, but thankfully that harshness seems to have eluded me. So I'm still here on the third base side, and if you can get a nice close-up of this ticket. As you may know, if you've been watching my videos, I have a huge collection of signed tickets. And, you know, tickets are just not so much of a thing anymore, but I did buy these at the box office today. So I will link to a four-part video series in the description of this video where I showed my entire signed ticket stub collection. If you haven't watched it, it's definitely worth a look. And uh, yeah, this is the portion of the day which is basically like the dead zone. The players have done their preliminary warm-ups. It's too soon for the pre-game stuff. So just groundskeepers hanging out. So I don't know, I might get something to eat, something to drink, wander a little bit. We'll see. That's the beauty of a day at the ballpark. You never know which direction things are gonna go in.
have moved along to the third inning, and this game is scoreless, which is quite unfortunate because, well, first of all, look at me wearing my hoodie like a complete dweeb. It's unfortunate because look at all these empty seats on both sides of me. As I always say, when I have space like this, if they could only hit them, I would catch them. But it's been dead, I tell you. But we have more than six full innings to go. So as always, I remain hopeful as a 2-1 pitch comes into Solaire. Nope, pitcher stepped off. Well, yeah, it's been that kind of day, pretty slow. Oh, come on! Do something! got the ball. Yes. Nice job. Finally, a sign of life. Miguel Rojas with a home run, which unfortunately went right down the line and hit the left field foul pole. So that got the scoring started. And then in the bottom of the sixth, Reese Hoskins hit a leadoff triple. And Daniel Castano, the Marlins starter, got three ground balls in a row to get out of the inning. Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos, and Didi Gregorius. Very, very impressive pitching performance. So I tip my cap to him, but I don't want to see good pitching performances. I want to see bad pitching and lots of home runs coming out here. But the baseball fan in me really appreciates it. So right now, we have the Marlins up at bat, top of the seventh, and they're on top one nothing. here late in the game with Brian De La Cruz, the Marlins left fielder. The fans, well, they were getting all over him and not surprisingly, some of them were being really rude, but other folks were actually being pretty cool and funny. And you know, no matter what they threw at him, De La Cruz took it like a champ. There were two different instant replay reviews and while the umpires were deliberating, De La Cruz and the fans went back and forth talking some friendly trash. Now, as it turned out, both of those calls went against the Phillies so our man in the field got the last laugh. Or did he? After that, the fans somehow started getting into it with each other. so obnoxious that an usher and two supervisors got involved and kicked them out of the stadium. At some point, while all that was taking place, there was a spectacular play in the field by the Phillies. Jazz Chisholm Jr. hit a high pop-up into foul territory, and Alec Bohm, 
made a ridiculous sliding catch over by the dugout. Then, in the bottom of the ninth, with two outs and two runners on base, and the Phillies moments away from losing, this happened. Garrett Stubbs, that is your hero. Tremendous baseball moment, really fun to see. Of course, part of me wishes that that ball had been hit by a righty, because it would have been cool to make a play on a walk-off home run. I've only ever snagged one of those in nearly 1,900 Major League games. So three to one, that's the final. As for me, I got two baseballs today, both thrown by Richard Blyer. He's the man. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this winter release, guys. Maybe there will be more. You'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.